Good evening, and welcome to Fine Point, where no narrative is sacred, no media hoax is safe, and we zero in on the big picture. I'm your host, Chanel Rian. Can you feel it in the wind? 1775 again. On Friday, the political world was upended, changing potentially not only the state of the race, but the two political parties forever. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., RFK, suspended his independent campaign for the presidency and joined former President Trump on stage in Arizona in a breathtaking display of unity. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Boy, were sparks flying. Two great Americans and scions fused in a handshake and embrace with the simple goal of making America great again. And not just great again, healthy again. Talk about a novel platform. Robert F. Kennedy is son of the legendary Attorney General and Senator Bobby Kennedy, nephew of President John F. Kennedy. The crown jewels of the Democratic Party, Camelot, remember? RFK knows what it means to be an American, and he knows what it means to ask what he can do for his country. And on Friday, he did just that. Kennedy and President Trump do not agree in everything, and that's okay. In this fight against globalism and tyranny in the United States, there are some important common grounds that overshadow the trifling disagreements by comparison. Common ground that has driven the Democrats' true royal member from its own ranks. I left that party in October because it had departed so dramatically from the core values that I grew up with. It had become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big pharma, big tech, big ag, and big money. In a sane world, RFK should have been natural nominee for the Democratic Party, but it is no longer the party of JFK and RFK. I attended my first Democratic convention at the age of six in 1960. And back then, the Democrats were the champions of the Constitution, of civil rights. The Democrats stood against authoritarianism, against censorship, against colonialism, imperialism, and unjust wars. We were the party of labor, of the working class. The Democrats were the party of government transparency and the champion of the environment. Our party was the bulwark against big money interests and corporate power. True to its name, it was the party of democracy. The party of JFK and RFK stood so strongly for these values, most Americans now believe they were both killed by the so-called deep state. They couldn't allow such ideas to flourish in the world. And since their deaths, their party has never been the same. RFK knows this, and he knows what a profile in courage truly is and what it looks like. The chronic disease crisis was one of the primary reasons for my running for president, along with ending censorship in the Ukraine war. It's the reason I've made the heart-wrenching decision to suspend my campaign and to support President Trump. This decision is agonizing for me because of the difficulties it causes my wife and my children and my friends. But I have the certainty that this is what I've meant to do. His speech was single-handedly one of the most sincere and powerful political speeches you will hear in a long time. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.